The economy may be idling, but the U.S. auto industry is very much in gear right now. Sales of new vehicles are forecast to top 13 million this month. That would be 11.5% better than last November. And as Bill Whitaker reports, new models from Detroit, not overseas, are leading the way. At the Los Angeles Auto Show, glitz, glamour, and optimism are back. The world's car makers showing off their best features, from safety to fuel efficiency to the internet. Toyota Motor Corporation, $64.33. Jeremy Anwell is CEO of automotive website Edmunds.com. We're all so used to our smartphones and we kind of want that seamless experience to be extended into the vehicle. It hasn't exactly been seamless for Detroit, but the big news here, the big three U.S. automakers are on a roll. Hey, how you doing, man? Good to see you. At GM, sales are up 20% from a year ago. Ford, up 9%. The best performer, Chrysler, up 27%. We've been actually seeing uh, sales now for, for cars increasing month over month over month, really since the summer. Sales for Japanese cars have dropped, primarily because of a shortage of parts from tsunami-damaged factories in Japan and flooded plants in Thailand. With Detroit in the driver's seat, U.S. car sales could top 13.5 million this year, a half million cars sold in just the last month. What's driving up car sales? Pent-up demand. With the economy in low gear and unemployment stubbornly high, Americans, reluctant to take on new debt, have been holding on to their old cars. The population of cars that are in the United States, it is over 11 years old now. Ford CEO Mark Fields. It is the oldest ever since we've tracked it. And, you know, there are some cars that, uh, you know, can be eligible for AARP, uh, uh, you know, subscriptions pretty soon. Returning customers are finding Detroit has changed. Ford's best seller, the Hardy F-Series pickup truck, has gone green. We put a, a new powertrain in there called EcoBoost, which in its simplest sense, you get the power of a V8 and the fuel economy of a V6. GM found success by going small with its compact crews. For many, many years, uh, they really lost their way. James uh, Bell is head of consumer company, affairs at GM. Uh, these cars are really a lot more advanced than you expect. That's been the good part of the economic downturn. It's made all the, the uh, manufacturers that are still in the game really up their game. The big three expect to gradually continue picking up speed, but admit, it could be another five years before auto sales reach pre-recession levels. Bill Whitaker, CBS News, Los Angeles.